Hey guys, I'll be taking my first train ride here on the Lagos Red Line. Let's experience this together. The Lagos Red Line Metro Rail Mass Transit is currently running a free test running drive for the general public to come and experience the Lagos Red Line before the full passengers operation. This is the partial passengers operation. So guys, I'm officially taking my first train ride. Morning. Guys, this is us taking our first trip. Yo, man, this is how the interior look like and all that. This is basically what you get inside. I will be starting this trip from the Oyimbo train station, being the first station on the red line. We will stop at Agbado station, being the last station on the red line. And we will be asking questions about the Agbado station. More on that as we continue in this video. To your usual question, how secure is the rail track? You will be seeing everything from the Oyimbo down to Agbado, what it looks like while capturing the view of the metropolitan Lagos city. Speaking with riders to share their own experience. Answer questions asked on my community timeline. All these are more. I will capture in this video. Sit, relax, and enjoy. What is the comfort level on the seats? This is what the seats look like. Although there are other trains on the red line, and more are coming. But this is what we have on the red line. This is the floor, and this is what it looks like. Like I mentioned, this is one of the trains for the Lagos red line. More are still coming. Why we have others, but this is one of the trains for the Lagos Red Line. This is what the floor look like. These are the interiors. This is the roof of the train. This is what that part of the train look like. And this is the overall view of the coach. This is what the coach look like here on the Red Line. And this is one of the trains for the Lagos Red Line. This is one of the trains. We have other trains available for the Lagos Red Line. We just left the Oyimbo train station, heading towards the Yaba train station. This is the view of the rail track heading towards Yaba. It's important to note that this is partial passenger operation and maintenance is still ongoing on the rail track, hence what you see at the rail track. But I will be giving you the view of what they've achieved on the rail track. This is heading towards Yaba. This is the Ebute Meta railway compound heading towards Yaba train station. This is Ebute Meta, Lagos, Nigeria. Eventually, you care to know, OZ is enjoying his trip on the Lagos Red Line. We arrived ABJ at Ebute Meta heading towards Mobolaji Junction train station. We just left the Mobolaji train station and that's the Red Line depot where they maintain the Red Line. We're heading towards Yaba train station and this is what Ebutemeta look like. In case you want to know, this is a view of Ebutemeta from the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. This is what we have right there. Enjoy the view and thank me later. Yeah, in your special way. You know what I mean? Right now, I will turn off every other external sound so you hear the background sound riding on the Lagos Red Line only. We are still heading towards the Yaba train station, which we are almost there. We are currently at the Yaba train station. This is the second station on the Lagos Red Line and it's welcoming passenger as you can see. Let's get other riders feedback on this trip. So far, I mean, the experience has been quite interesting. Um, the cabins are quite cozy. I mean, it gives one that, um, you know, cozy experience. Um, so far, I think, um, the one of the things I noticed about the train is um, they asked maybe because they are just um, I'm doing a test ride. I mean we don't get communications from the um, I mean the managers of the train. 
you know, for instance, once you get a particular stop, you're supposed to be um, um, informed about a particular, you know, um, um, station. I mean, for some of us who are novice um, to this um, kind of um, experience or locations, so I think it's very important for them to, you know, to communicate that at every point. And but overall, I think um, the the service it's um, it's a good one. Um, not just for Lagosians, for also um, people who will be visiting Lagos for the first time and want to maybe visit um, different places from the mainland down to the highland. Um, I think it's actually a good one. We left Yaba station, heading towards the next station, which is Moshi train station, being the number third station, number three station on the Lagos Red Line. This is a view of the Yaba area. This is what Yaba look like from the Lagos Red Line. Enjoy this part of the video. We are almost close to the Mushi train station. As you can see, this is the one of the overpass bridge that was recently commissioned and opened at this particular point. So the fenced off will commence anytime soon. So this is the Mushi train station. As you can see, the fence already there just to block off the rail track and pedestrians will start using the rail track to avoid um, pedestrian interaction on the rail track, which will commence very soon. So this is Mushi train station, the number three station on the Lagos red line. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's welcoming passengers less interact with more passengers to know their riding experience on the lagos red line it's fantastic it's nice uh, we have to commend lagos state government there are some like this thing i'm noticed so far like setback or some feedback like i think the government should work on before the full operation like i noticed that the was on the track there are still some people moving on the track and there are some shanties along the way and towards Agbado and all that. So I think the government should, should clear all that before full operation. And also I noticed that there is no charging port in the train unlike the BRT buses. So I don't know if because and they are using this for the test one, or maybe this is the one they will use permanently for it. But I think it will be fair and to be good if we can the, 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 the train can come with charging ports for people to, to charge their phones and mobile devices. And it's, been, it's been a wonderful experience so far. I'm also encouraging other Lagosians to come and experience it. Experience it. We've left Mushi Station. Yeah, as you can see, this is what the Moshi area looks like. The fenced off the track, and this is what we have going on at the Moshi, and the view of Moshi from inside the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail. Enjoy this part of the video. At this point, I will take off all external sound and play only the sound coming from the background riding on the Lagos Red Line. So you give your own review on the comment section. We're heading towards Osho, the area of Lagos State. This is a view coming from the Lagos Red Line, all the way from Mushi towards Oshodi. This is what you see. Um, I would like to get your own feedback in the comment section. What do you think about the view coming from the Lagos Red Line? So, up to you guys. Let us know what your thoughts are on the comment section. And notice most people just watch and don't subscribe. Please, it's important you subscribe. Officially become a member of Just OZ by hitting that subscribe button. You can also support the boy by buying us coffee to also help us fund our next projects.
this is Oshuri train station, the number four station on the Lagos Red Line. As you can see, it's welcoming passengers. This is what currently look like. This is you looking at Oshuri from the Lagos Red Line. This is what it look like. As you can see, the rail tracks are fenced off, and this is what we have going on on the Lagos Red Line at Oshuri Corridor. Oshodi is a very busy corridor. The government have built several pedestrian bridges and more to be built. This is what we have going on at the Oshodi corridor. We're heading towards Ikeja from here. This is what the road track look like heading towards the Ikeja train station. We are almost at the sophisticated, iconic Ikeja train station, the control center for the Lagos Red Line, and the number fifth station on the Lagos Red Line. This is what it look like. As you can see, it's currently welcoming passengers. This is what Ikeja look like. I've shown you this particular station several times. You can check it out in this channel. We are leaving Ikeja to Agege station. This is what that corridor look like from the train. Enjoy this part of the video and do let us know your opinion on this in the comment section. Let's continue the ride. If you look closely, you notice that we've passed several flyover bridges or overpass bridge on the rail track. These are bridges constructed by local state government to overpass and separate vehicular and um, train interaction. So you can see trains and vehicles have zero interaction. But some parts would need an uh, overpass bridge like this, which will be constructed by the federal government. Yeah, in the future, sure. And this is what the rail track look like. We hope that all the things will be cleared up and looking beautiful when passengers, when full passenger operation commence on the Lagos Red Line, which is happening anytime soon. We are still at the Ikeja area, heading towards Agege, yeah, which is the next station from here. Enjoy the ride. This Agege Pen Cinema Bridge, we just passed Agege Station and we're heading towards Iju Station and this is what that corridor look like. This is what Agege area of Lagos State look like. In case you've heard Agege for several years, this is what that part of Lagos look like. If you look closely, you see that the rail tracks has been fenced off against the pedestrian movement and they are building several pedestrian bridges to help of separate pedestrians and um, train movements. Remember when the passenger comments about shanties belt on the rail track, this is that shanties he's talking about. From the Ikeja section down to Iju, we have several of them at that corridor. This is what that part looks like. Yeah. What do you think? This is what you see at the Iju Agege, a section of the corridor. The 
this is the Iju area of the corridor and we are almost at the Iju station. Yeah, this is Iju station. Fully ready for welcoming passengers. Iju is the number 7 station on the Lagos Red Line and we are heading to Agbadu. This is what Iju looks like. The corridor, the, as you can see, the tracks are fenced off. As you can see, this is what we have going on at Iju. Several point. We are heading straight to Agbadu, the last station on the Lagos Red Line to see what that part also looks like. So keep watching this is plane crash i have told most of all these bridges you can go back to the channel and check them out see what they look like i have told them around showing you every details of these bridges so we're heading straight to agbado this is what that part of uh, lagos open states look like We are currently at the Agbado station. This is Latif Jakondi train station for the Lagos Ibadan, controlled by Nigerian Rail Corporation. Lamata announced that this place most likely will be used for their operations since the Agbado station for the red line is still under construction. So finally guys, we are back from our trip. As you can see, this is Oyimbo. I took um, from Oyimbo down to Agbado and I'm coming back now. And this is where we'll conclude this particular video. So we continue next time. Let me know your opinion on this. How was the experience for you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Yeah, you too can come and experience this for yourself. This, based on information I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm not uh, very sure about that. But this will last for the rest of this um, September. So you can come here, September 2024. Uh, come and experience it for yourself and have the full experience. Yeah, it's open to the public, it's free. And you can go from Oimbo here down to Agbado, come back to any station of your choice. It's up to you to come and experience it yourself. It's strictly on invitation. Go to Lamata website and get your own seat booked.